of my Mardi Gras King Cake coffee that I have been enjoying. It's a seasonal favorite. Anyways, today's vlog, I am probably gonna go run some errands today. I wanna go to Kohl's and Walmart. I'm just in the mood to, I don't know, see what's in store, stretch my legs and what have you. I'm also, oh, my FabFitFun box is coming today, so I'm gonna share that with you guys. I always enjoy opening that, it's the spring one. And then tonight I'll probably blab at you guys about, oh, a skincare update, something I've been doing with my eyes and eye cream, if you will. But um, yeah, I need to get dressed before I head out, but I wanted to share with you a few little home updates. First up, yesterday I shared with you guys how I had recently purchased I tried this out, I talked about it yesterday, um, and it is good, it's really good. And I'm not exaggerating, it is that bean cereal I was talking about yesterday. It's made with lentils and chickpea flour and pea protein. One serving, 12 grams of protein, only one gram of sugar. It tastes, I mean, it's been a long time. It's been a long time since I've had Cocoa Krispies, but seriously, it tastes like Cocoa Krispies, only in ring form. Uh, very good. It's better, although I did enjoy and bought another box. Uh, it's better than the cinnamon vanilla flavor, but both are really good. And both only have one gram of sugar. So yeah, I highly recommend these. Kashi nailed it. They are superior to the Love Grown bean cereals. I call them bean cereals because it's just like a mambo combo of lentil flour or whatever. Yeah, these are better than the Kashi. Th these are better than the um, Love Grown brown one. I also have a candle update for you guys. Um, a viewer actually sent this to me a long time ago. Isn't it beautiful? Um, it's this company, what's it called? Uh, House and House and Sage. Um, and the candle fits in this little container. It's got like a little topper. It's really pretty. But y'all will be happy to see I've been doing the wick trimming with it. It came with this. Isn't that nice? But this particular candle smells really good. Um, so I fired that up and I'm really enjoying it. And the other thing I wanted to update you all on is my Aero Garden. Check it out. The incredible edibles, edible flowers are popping. Um, it looks like one's gonna bloom there too, of this different type of flower. So I haven't tried eating these yet. They're called the incredible edibles because you can eat them. I haven't tried eating them yet, um, but I may do that. I think they would be really pretty on a smoothie bowl. This is my original Arrow Garden. I removed these two because they were just kind of taking over and making it difficult for the parsley to grow, and I really wanted parsley. I've already forgotten what was here. Oh, sage and mint. Yeah, the sage, not sage, uh, thyme, thyme and mint. And I wasn't really doing thyme and the mint was taking over everything. Dill grows to like super tall um, and is always whacking its head. And then over here I have two types of basil. So this is the original one, um, but then the little mini one, look how, how much he's grown. Uh, we have another type of basil and then we have a different type of parsley and then we have chives. So. Hey guys, I just filmed the video for you all like I like to do on the weekends. And look what came, my FabFitFun box for spring. Isn't it pretty? They did a good job on the box this time. Yeah, FabFitFun, I'm not sponsored by them but I've been getting this box for several years now. Oh look, they included stickers. Okay, this is great because that way when, the box comes seasonally by the way, that way the next time it is supposed to be customization day, I can put a sticker in my, in my planner to remind me. I'm glad for that, it's your time to bloom. Yeah, I'm not sponsored by them or you know anything, I just buy this myself. I was influenced by the internet. Ooh, here's a little, little magazine and I see it, Josie. Y'all, I've been loving that Josie Moran Pro retinol body butter. I mean, it doesn't have anything retinol in it. I don't know. We've talked about that before, but I actually really like it. 
Okay. Ooh, this I am excited about. <laughs> if I can get it out of the bag. One thing that I get, probably the, probably the type of item that I get in this box that I use the most ends up being the jewelry. And this, hopefully it fits. Oh, it looks like it's adjustable. Is this beautiful ring by Joy Dravecki? Move before exercising, swimming. Made in Vietnam. This is pretty. Let's put it on. I love that it's adjustable. Okay, right off the bat, I am thrilled as can be. It's, it's kind of giving me mood ring vibes. That what, They should bring those back. They always looked cool, in my opinion, and they were fun. You know, they changed color with the, with your body temperature. Yeah, I loved mood rings. I think they should, they should have a comeback. <laughs> mood rings like necklaces, all this like wearable technology. Let's bring back the mood ring. <laughs> That was, that was our like old school version of a uh, habit tracker. <laughs> uh, sun's out, pouts out. Ooh, foil lip masks. Okay. These actually look like fun. They put them on, you put them on the lips, leave them on for 10 to 15 minutes. They've got licorice root, green tea, avocado oil. They do have fragrance. Ugh. They look kind of fun. Sun's out, pout's out. I don't remember selecting that. I don't think I did. Sometimes I just kind of throw in some. Oh, this I definitely selected. Love this stuff, but it's so expensive. So I was really excited when I saw it as an option. It's the cocoa floss. Yes, this is worth it. This is seriously some of the best dental floss I have ever used in my entire life. It is good. I mean, we're talking like, Celery cannot cannot stand up to the power of this. It will get stuff out from between your teeth. Marina Biome Brightening Ampule. It is a vegan, cruelty-free ampule, which is basically like a moisturizer. And it has watermelon oil, blueberry seed oil, rosehip seed oil. So this just looks like a combination oil, probably for maybe delivering some antioxidants. It kind of looks like it's trying to compete with, what's that brand that people love that has a lot of blue stuff? Herbivore. <laughs> kind of looks like it's trying to copy that. So maybe I'll give that a try. I kind of, you know, I'm oils, like I've always said, they just kind of lubricate the skin surface and make it look a little bit more glowy, but I have really been enjoying that Good Molecules hydrating face oil, is it called? With um, sea buckthorn oil in it. I've actually been enjoying that quite a bit. Um, so yeah, I might actually give that a try. Got some hair scarves from Lark and Ives. Came in a little tote bag. Ooh, these are pretty. They're like satin. Ooh, I like that. cute so there was that one and then it looks like there's oops one other one. Oh, cool just a plain nude one five stylish ways to rock out your scarves beyond just what i just did you can also put it like on your purse that's cute um around your wrist i will not be doing that because that seems like it would get annoying <laughs> around your neck and, oh, around a ponytail, it looks like. Cool. I doubt it'll stay in place on my hair, though. I said I just read three tampons, and I was like, mm. <laughs> but these are beauty rounds. Okay, this is like for putting on skincare products and makeup, maybe. Powders and stuff. Ooh, they're really soft. Cool, they're soft. <laughs> S 
say hello. Hmm. I'm going to put these in my women's shelter donation stash because I have like a bunch of makeup there. And so I'm sure they need stuff like this to apply the makeup with. And I got some, I'm excited about these, little fuzzy slippers. <laughs> Those are so cute for summertime. Splendid. I got them in size small and they're really soft too. Never have too many slippers, but you can have too many shoes. All right, and then last but not least, this looks like another article of jewelry from this company in Monroe. Oh, I do remember picking this. It's a watch. I'm gonna see if I can get into wearing watches. I mentioned this recently, I'm not really a fan of watches. I have zero interest in like the Apple watch. I don't wanna track anything. This one woman on YouTube that I follow, she always has like the coolest stuff and I really enjoy her personality. Her name is Lisa, Lisa D1. And she recently got into buying watches and wearing regular watches. And she got this old school Timex watch. This is why I picked this actually, because of her and her going back into watches the kind of face. She got this Timex watch and I seriously almost bought it. Like she, she influenced me to almost buy it. It was a Timex watch. I haven't seen this kind of thing in a long time. The Indiglo, where like you press the little button and this glow light comes on, but it shows this cute little pattern. I think hers was like a kissy lips, kissy lips. So cute. I almost bought one from eBay. <laughs> um, even though I don't really wear watches. But then I saw this as a FabFitFun option and I thought I might give it a try. I don't know, Monroe. Fun fact about me, I had a very, 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 very difficult time learning how to read a uh, analog clock when I was a child. I just, first of all, part of it was I was not interested in learning how to tell time. I didn't see like why it was necessary. I was just like, I don't get why I'm all this pressure all of a sudden to learn to tell time. Like why is it? And I, yeah. So I didn't understand why it mattered and I still don't because you know, fast forward now, I rarely ever look at an analog clock. Um, so I was kind of stubborn about it, no surprise, uh, coming from me. And I just, it was difficult. Like I have a difficult time conceptualizing numbers. I have a really challenging time doing like long division or anything in my head. I don't understand people who can like, I, I can barely add in my head. I'm not even joking uh, because like I can't, I just can't visualize quanta. I do much better with more complicated math that I can do on paper, you know, that you're expected to do on paper. Much better at that. Calculus was no problem for me. Um, you know, algebra was a breeze. Uh, I had no issue with any of that kind of math. Basic math where it's like, you know, you have to do it in your head. My head, for whatever reason, cannot visualize that kind of stuff. So the concept of time as numbers and like the division of time on this clock, it was just so, it was too abstract for me as a child. I was like, stop with this clock stuff. Plus I didn't care about time. I had a healthier outlook back then. <laughs> now I'm like, oh my gosh, there's not enough time. I should have stuck to my guns, honestly, and you know, remained oblivious to telling time. So yeah, that's what I got on my FabFitFun box, you guys. Um, and I'm excited about these stickers. I'm in here in Kohl's and they have the Hemp's moisturizers. This is one of those things that I am always so tempted by YouTube, especially Mr. Kong's mom. She's always talking these up and making them sound so good. So I'm always tempted to try these. This sweet pineapple and honey melon. Uncle Bud's antibacterial hand and body moisturizing lotion. You know, benzalconium. That's what's in like baby wipes and stuff. 
You can develop an allergy to that. And it's not the most broad spectrum antimicrobial. I would not. I would not. This looks good as a hand sanitizer. What do you guys think about body suits? I have not worn a body suit since I was like, I had one, I think in middle school. And this like crotch snap thing always kind of freaked me out. <laughs> and I know people complain about them, like not wanting, oh, those are cute. Not wanting to have to unsnap them to go to the bathroom. I can, I can see how that'd be a pain. Oh, that is cute. Oh, I like that. But I'm not gonna drop $39.99 on a utility jacket. Am I in the children's section? No, yeah, I think I'm in the, oh, I'm in the juniors. Ooh, they've got some cute sweatshirts though. These are cute. I was never into SpongeBob, but Abbey Road, I had a big t-shirt with this on it. This actually looks nice. Kohl's always has good clothing. I say that, but I can't think of anything from Kohl's that I own. <gasps> Rugrats, oh, I love that show. All right, I gotta stop spinning around like a top. Making you guys nauseous. Nauseous. Ooh, we got some jazzy footwear here. Uh, Skechers yoga foam. Who was I watching? And they pulled out Crocs, but they were these cute version of Crocs. Like these little high heels. And I was like, whoa, I might need to find those. I don't think they'll have them here. I have some little sneakers. I have some New Balance shoes. New Balance aren't too bad. Oh, these are Fila, but they had New Balance back there. Lifestyle, Ortholite, these Asics, yeah. I told you guys about the saga with Asics, how I wore them for years and then suddenly they just started failing me. So I've switched to Brooks and I'm loving it. Oh, we got a magic bullet here. Your personal kitchen assistant telling you guys the ninja do they have a ninja here they have this version yeah here we go this this is like what i have and this isn't the exact model but it's the kind of same shape love it love it as a matter of fact whenever i link it in my videos amazon tells me when it was that i purchased it i've had it since 20 since 2015 so yeah and i while i've replaced the blades, the, you know, the uh, engine still runs quite well. Crushes ice very well. Gone Keurig. George Foreman still going strong after all these years. Is there anything vegan you can make on a George Foreman? I guess you can thaw out veggie burgers. Uh, I'm not going to get lured into small appliances. They, they are always so tempting. But, I might get one of these at some point to put in my um, Kasari multi-cooker, aka the generic instant pot. Oh, I know why I came in here. Let's be honest, I wanted to look for, um, replace my mug. This is pretty, but I'm not gonna not gonna do the job I need it to. Why did they put the Easter hand towels back here where no one can see them? Seems like they would push that on you. Mm -hmm. Clearance Christmas candy up in here. Nothing says I love you like a, a year old box of chocolates next holidays. Ooh, eggnog truffle. I got the OXO salad spinner here. 
I'm in here in Walmart and they have these Sani Case UV LED sterilizing travel bags. It's kind of cool. Walmart's got some cute running shorts, $11.98. These. <laughs> they have the liner in them too. You do. Look, you can adjust the sides too. Ooh, these look comfy. Very soft, $6.96. Has anyone bought the Sophia Vargas denim? Is it good? Like, it feels decent. At Walmart, I got this Sally Hansen gel color in the shade Orchiding Aside. <laughs> That's cute. I've been happy with these Miracle Gel polishes. I've got the top coat here I've had for a while. But I was excited to see that this offer is currently on Ibotta. So I just scanned my receipt and got the, it's going to be a dollar cash back plus a giveaway entry. Bada bing! Love Ibotta. Sweet! So yeah, update on the bonding hair repair oil. You know, what is it with the bonding of the, and hair care products? Like everything I noticed is bonding. Like the Inky List came out with some kind of bonding this. And this actually looks very, very eerily similar. You guys may have pointed this out already, but I noticed it. Uh, when I was editing the vlog and like putting stuff together uh, for the vlog yesterday. This looks just like uh, Olaplex has a bonding blah 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 blah. This product though, I mean it doesn't have like any kind of specific ingredient in it that would... See the Olaplex products, they're proprietary ingredient or whatever. It's like supposed to join together like broken apart disulfide bonds I think. Uh, just kind of, you know, exogenously. If I remember correctly, their, their industry studies, whatnot. But this doesn't have anything in it about like oils. Uh, but I guess it's marketing to people who have damaged hair from like chemical treatments, having the hair colored, straightened, Brazilian blow, blow outed, blow outage. <laughs> Yeah, that's hard on the hair for sure. Um, anytime you have any kind of chemical processing, it's gonna damage your hair quite a bit. Um, speaking of hair, I am still ba -da -ba 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 -ban those bougie hair towel. I do wash it um, like every couple of nights. I, need, I should get another one, um, the Aqui hair towel. Yeah, oh, one more thing and then I'll let you guys go. I um, have started doing this as of lately a lot and I'm really enjoying it. I just put a little Vaseline on my eyelids as an eye cream. I've really been liking it because for a while there, I don't know, you know, I was using that Paracone, trying out that Paracone MD um, Lilon BHA and it would like migrate all over my face. So I started doing this because my eyelids were getting really irritated from that. Um, and so I just have continued to do it. Plus it feels good to rub Vaseline over your eyes like this. I've just continued to do it. And I don't typically have like dry eyelids, but I've noticed when I do this, since doing this, when I wake up in the morning, my eyelids are like, I don't know, springier. <laughs> have more bounce in, in them, which makes sense. Petrolatum is really good at reducing water loss out of the skin. And water loss out of the skin is greatest at nighttime, so that makes sense. But yeah, I've just really been enjoying that. I mean, Vaseline is such a versatile skincare product. All right, guys, thank you so much for sticking around to the end of the vlog. I hope you had a great weekend. Um, flies by so quickly. Everything flies by. Time flies by. Time, time, time. Time keeps on slipping, slipping, slipping. <laughs> If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.